Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you, my students? Welcome in Quran class. My name is Saima Bah. I am Quran teacher. Today, inshallah, we will continue in studying Tazweed lesson. We already started together in the last class. Letter characteristics, sifat al huruf. Today, inshallah, is the second part of this lesson. We will continue in studying letter characteristics. <coughs> if you want to watch the first lesson, you can visit the link in the description. The lesson today is about letter characteristics categories. Aqsam sifat al huruf. The goals from this lesson are three goals. Number one, knowing the, the categories, knowing the categories of letter characteristics. Number two, distinguishing between the intrinsic and circumstantial characteristics between the characteristic of letters. Number three, mastering the pronunciation of letters with their correct characteristics. Characteristics categories are two. Number one, intrinsic, the atiya. Number two, circumstantial, aradiya. Intrinsic characteristics are two. Number one, with opposites. Number two, without opposites. Let's start with the first type of letter characteristics. Intrinsic characteristics of Sifa as the Tia. The meaning of intrinsic characteristics, characteristics that always accompany the letters, such as Qalqala and strength. Characteristics with opposite, like hands, opposite with Jahr, Rahawa, opposite with Shidda, between them is Tawasot, Istifal, opposite with Istiala, Idbaq, opposite with Infitah, Ismat, opposite with Izlaq. Characteristics without opposite, number one, Whistling of Safir. Number two, Kalkala. Number three, Aline. Isn't it? Number four, Drifting Al Inhiraf. Number five, Repetition at Takrir. Number six, Sound Breathing at Tafasi. Number seven, Sound Listening Al Istitala. Number eight, sound, concealment, and nasal sound, al-khafa wal gunna Let's go to the second type of characteristics is circumstantial characteristic of sifat al aradiya The goals from studying circumstantial characteristics are, number one, learning about the circumstantial characteristics, number two, Distinguishing between the circumstantial characteristics. Number three, mastering the pronunciation of letters with their circumstantial characteristics. The definition of circumstantial characteristics are complementary characteristics that, that, that letters have in certain cases. However, their absence doesn't affect the letters. 
They are divided through the rules of Tajweed. Circumstantial characteristics are many. Number one is har. Number two, idgham. Number three, tafkhim. Number four, ikhfa. Number five, iqlab. Number six, tarqiq. Tahrik, mad, sukun, sect, and qaf. Now we will study together each of these circumstantial characteristics. Number one is har. Linguistically meaning of is har. Demonstration and manifestation. Termin uh, terminologically, reducing a letter from its articulation point without gonna. Like, man a'ta, man a'ta, no gonna. No second, followed by Hamza, man a'ta. Idram, linguistically merging. Terminologically meaning, merging a second letter into a vowel letter so that they form a single mushaddad letter. Iqlab, linguistically meaning of iqlab to alter the, the nature of something. Terminologically, converting nun sakina and tanween into a concealed meme accompanied by gunna, like minbad. Ikhfa, concealment. For example, the sentence akhfaytul kitaba, concealed the book, means Hidden the book from view. Terminologically, pronouncing a second letter in a manner between izhar, clarification, and idram, merging with agunna and without tajdeed. Like, manza. Tafkhim. Linguistically meaning magnification and amplification. Terminologically, the magnification accompanying a sound when pronouncing a letter, so the mouth is filled with its its echo, like ho, lo, ko. Linguistically, meaning, terminologically, a thinning quality accompanying a letter's sound when pronounced, so the mouth isn't filled with its echo, like, a beta. Host. Linguistically, withholding. Terminologically, the confirmation of a mad letter with a maximum of two haraka counted. Make a uh, long sound with two bits only, two haraka only. That's qasr. Mad. Extending. Terminologically, Elongating the sound of a mud or lean letter if necessary. That means more than two bits. Sukun. The absence of any of the three short vowels, fatha, dhamma, and ketra on a letter. A letter with, with, uh, without any short vowels. Tahrik. Tahrik means 
Adding any of the three short vowels on a letter. Sack. Linguistically, blockage. Terminologically, cutting of the sound at a word for a time, less than that of walk while holding breath. Now let's develop the listening and reading skills for this lesson. Start with listening skills. Number one. Noon Sakina must be characterized by its heart without gunna. It's anamta. Please repeat after me the correct pronunciation. Anamta. It's an. But it's not anamta. No, no, no gunna. In this word, lahum fiha means Sakina should be clarified. It's lahum. Please repeat after me the correct pronunciation. Lahum fiha. The wrong is lahof fiha. Lahof fiha, no wrong. Nun sakina must be merged with ya in in this example. Please repeat after me. May yamal. Okay. May yamal. Nun followed by ya. It's may yamal. It gam with gunna. That's the right. But the wrong is may yamal. No. With gunna, not without gunna. Or man yamal, it's wrong. Qad dakhalu, dal must be merged. It's qad dakhalu. Please repeat after me the correct pronunciation. Qad dakhalu, qad dakhalu. But the wrong is qad dakhalu. No, it's wrong. Qad dakhalu, no. In this example, nun takina must be converted into concealed meat. It's anbaka, anbaka, not am, am, not clear mean. It's concealed. Anbaka, anbaka. Please repeat after me the correct pronunciation. Anbaka. But the wrong is anbaka or anbaka. No, it's anbaka. Nun sakina must be concealed in this example. Please repeat after me. Jundun, jundun. The wrong is jundun, jun, jun, jun. No, concealed the, the noon. Ra must be mufakhama, heavy tone. Please repeat after me. Yes, darun. It's ru, 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 heavy. Not ru, ru, ru. Not, uh, not lie. Not yes, darun. No, wrong. Now I want to test your knowledge. I will ask you three questions. Number one, true or false. Number two, choose the correct answer. Number three, listen and choose the correct pronunciation. Listen, true or false. Please tell me, true or false, circumstantial characteristics affect the letters natural in case of their absence. Ah, right or wrong? Hmm. I think it's wrong. No, wrong. Yes, wrong. The position of its heart include Nun Sakina and the Tanwin. Ah, right or wrong? Hmm. I think it's right. Yes, right. Hmm. In case of idgham, a vowel letter must be followed by a second letter. Ha, huh, right or wrong? Mm, like my yamal, the first is second, the second with vowel. No, it's wrong. Is a club is only about converting noon takina and tanween into meme. That's only like an baka, an baka. Not only we we also do gunna. Yes, that's wrong. Wrong. A concealed letter is pronounced in a manner between izhar and idgham. Hmm. 
right or wrong? I think it's right. Let's go to the second question. The second question is choose the correct answer. Heaviness and lightness are characteristics. Huh, which one is right? Heaviness and lightness, I think it's uh, intrinsic. No, circumstantial. Circumstantial. Intrinsic characteristics include, include what? Huh? With opposite or without opposite or both of them? Both of them. Yes, both of them. Moderation is a characteristic falling between. Between what? Between mm, the first one. Yes. Rahawa and Siddha. In case of walk on the word, kasab, kasaba, kasab. There is a characteristic. Which one? Intrinsic, circumstantial, basic, kasab, kalkala, uh, intrinsic. Intrinsic. Ta is always. Which one is right? Ta light. Yes, light tone. Let's go to the third equation. Listen and choose the correct pronunciation. Please tell me which one is right. Itta ka. Number one, itta. Number two, itta. Itta ka. Huh, which one? The second one. Yes, very good. Listen. Ah, sana. Ah, sana. Which one is right? The second one. Ah, sana. Please listen. Azka. Azka. Ha, huh, which one? The first one. Azka. Yes, good. You finished the the test. Excellent. <laughs> Congratulations. I am proud of you. Now it's time to leave you. That's great to see you today. Please, if this video is useful for you, don't forget to make, like, share, and subscribe. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته